Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, Scott coming at you with another video. Um, and unlike other days, today's uh, meal day is all about baseball. Um, usually I'm a football collector, but uh, recently started uh, diversifying a little bit into some baseball cards. Um, one of the sets I'm actually doing is the top 250 cards in the hobby set uh, on the PSA registry. So that kind of brings together, you know, your top baseball cards. It's a lot of baseball, a lot of pre-war baseball that I will probably never uh, see or be able to afford but um, there's a lot of other baseball I can pick up um, I already had a lot of football just because my Packers sets and um, there's some hockey in there and some basketball even some boxing cards so it's a cool set to to do um, if you guys want to check that out on the registry um, the first card I picked up has nothing to do with the registry but it has a little something to do with the picture in the back Mr. Baseball Bob Euchre picked up this beautiful 1965 Topps Bob Euchre. I love this set. Um, as far as the 60s go, actually, I'm partial to this. I just like the way the little flags and the, the pennants have the team name on them. And the cards are just really... Uh, I like the photography on a lot of the cards in the 65 set. So, beautiful looking Bob Euchre there. Bob Euchre, not known for being an amazing player, but more of a jokester. And the joke of this card, of course, is that he is batting left-handed, even though he's a right-handed hitter. Um, I think the joke being is he could hit just as well left-handed as right-handed, which is not very good either way. Um, you can just see the saying on the back, uh, great ball players, uh, I'd say Miller Lite ad, great ball players drink light because it's less filling. I know I asked one, implying that he's not a ball player himself. He's always uh, making those kind of jokes and putting himself down, but it's kind of funny. It's a beautiful card, that 1965 Tops. I wouldn't mind picking up another, uh, some 65 tops at uh, Hall of Famers. Um, so that was a card I that I just wanted. It didn't go to the uh, top 250 set. Um, this card actually does go. This is the newest baseball card in that top 250 in the hobby set. Um, Alex Rodriguez. Rookie card in a 94 SP foil in the grade of a 9. This card, in my opinion, is very cheap. Um, you can pick it up for about... Um, 125 bucks to 135 bucks, somewhere in that range. And um, uh, to me, it it, does, it actually I understand the whole thing with uh, PEDs and Alex Rodriguez, but um, 40 years down the road, when people are looking back at the careers and comparing all the numbers, I just don't see them 40 years from now comparing uh, the PED guys versus the non-PED guys and all that stuff. They're just going to look at the numbers and they're going to see that this guy hit. You know, whatever he hit, uh, 650 home runs or whatever he hit. And just a cr crazy amount of uh, offensive stats this guy put up. So to get his rookie card in the grade of a 9 for only 125 bucks, when a Jeter rookie card one year earlier um, goes for 2500 to $3,000 in the grade of a 9, and they have, both have similar pops, doesn't make much sense to me. So I think there's a lot of meat on the bone on this card, even if it only doubles in value and goes to... $250. That's still a ridiculously low price, I think, for this card. So I had to pick up the A-Rod. Too good of a deal, and it is part of the set. The newest baseball card in that set. Um, also picked up this guy. 1983 Tops Tony Gwynn rookie card. Grade of a 9. Pretty reasonable uh, in the grade of a 9 to pick up. Um, he is the highest batting average of all the modern hitters uh, as far as the leaders in batting average. Um, basically, Tony Gwynn um, is like number 18th all time, I want to say, batting average. And every other guy up in front of him is, has a black and white picture. That's how hard it is in the modern era to hit uh, the type of average he hit for a career. Next closest to him down the list as far as modern players go would be Wade Boggs. And he's a few points below him. Uh, beyond that, it's not till the 50s uh, where you have Kirby Puckett and Vladimir Guerrero as the next modern day players in line for the bat highest batting average. Otherwise, everybody else is old, you know, and much earlier. So, a beautiful card there, Tony Gwynn, to add to that top 250 set. And then I got a couple packages which I haven't opened up yet, so we'll rip those open. Been holding on to them for a couple days. Finally got a chance to do a video.
Oh, cool. Beautiful card. Another guy's card who I think is pretty low as far as the prices go. Um, we got this for around, uh, we picked this up for around 125 bucks or so as well. Gem Min 10, 87 Fleer Barry Bonds rookie card. This is the card that's for that top 250 in the hobby set. Beautiful card. Barry Bonds with the Pirates. Still looking pretty lean here with the Pirates. But, I mean, he is the all-time home run leader, so... And I feel the same way about him as I do with A-Rod. Is you can say what you want about Bonds, but... Uh, at the end of the day, down the road, I really don't think that they're going to hold it against him. Um, like they are now, and... I think eventually all these guys will be in the Hall of Fame in some aspect, so... Um, his uh, most expensive card, I think, is that Topps Traded Tiffany rookie card. Goes for, you know, over a thousand bucks in PSA 10. But this one goes for about a hundred. I'm happy to pick it up and add it to that set. Beautiful card. And I got one more to open here. Uh, picked this one up when eBay had one of those deals. Uh, I believe it was 15% off. Purchase over 50 bucks. open there there you go all right let's take a look here a lot of you guys will know this card especially all the baseball collectors out there there's a lot of you guys Harold Pee Wee Reese you can see just some slight discoloration there on the back but that's why it's uh, the grade that it is. Nineteen fifty-three Bowman color Pee Wee Reese. But the image is uh. Let's see if I can get a good view of that. The image is very clean. Centering is awesome. Edges and corners are also really really good for a PSA five. So took advantage of that. Uh, 15% off deal and had to buy this card. Uh, in my opinion, this is the coolest looking baseball card out there, and I was happy to make this one of the first baseball cards I picked up for that set, that top 250 in the hobby set. Just an iconic image. Um, there's really not another card like it out there. It's gorgeous. Pee Wee Reese jumping up in the air at second base, an action shot. Beautiful card. Um, I don't know if you guys know any other cards, any cool action cards that you like, but there's not that many really cool action cards. A lot of them are portraits. But this one has to be, this is the top, is top on my list. It's just gorgeous. Great of a five. So that takes car care of three baseball cards on that list. Four, actually. Plus the Bob Euchre that I picked up. Uh, plus, I have another, actually, base football card coming in uh, within the next week or so here. And maybe more. I'm kind of really getting into diversifying my collection a little bit with uh, uh, some baseball here and there. And um, eventually, I'll pick up some big ones. I definitely need that 54 Aaron. Um, just because it's a connect connection with the Milwaukee Braves. It's an iconic card. Everybody knows how much that card costs, though. I'd like to grab that in a PSA 4 if possible. Um, but that might take a little bit to uh, set aside the extra funds for that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, a little different flavor with the baseball. I know a lot of you on here might appreciate that. And um, you guys have a great night. Thanks for watching.